What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today guys, we got another MT video, I'm um, gonna be a bunch of different ways on how to make MT pretty much. Um, some methods, all that good stuff, what I do with some cards, sell cards, all that stuff. So yeah, let's go over that. Um, as you can see, Diamond Trey Young is on my screen. Why? Because I just completed the collection. Um, but yeah, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to drop 10, 20k in the comments. Video has to hit 30 likes. We're a couple likes away from last video. We're six likes away from my last video. We're at 24 likes, bro. The support has been unreal in the MT video, so make sure to smash that like button, bro. 30 likes in the video. Drop 10, 20K in the comments. One random sub will win 20,000 MT. If you just smash that like button, drop the sub too, bro. We're growing every day, so make sure to drop that sub. Um, but yeah, guys, we completed the Trey Young collection. We're grinding, trying to get a new center. Listen, my team is nothing special, but I really got no time. I work all day. So, yeah, that's pretty much why. So, let's get into it. All right. So, pretty much right now, market is actually rising because, yeah, we do have a lot of packs in the game. But as you can see, um, these packs aren't really fresh. The only packs that are fresh are these packs. And to be honest, these packs are straight trash. Okay. Um, they're terrible. They're honestly terrible. I pulled like a 70k pack opening with these and got nothing. So that's L's for me. Lights out packs are also terrible. They're too expensive. Uh, moments packs. You can't really pull anything good besides these dudes. So I don't know. It's up to you guys if you want to pop packs right now. Uh, market is rising. So what that means is you can go ahead and sell your cards. As you can see, I'm selling some cards. Um, Bob Love's about to get sold. So hopefully this Antonio Davis gets sold as well. But yeah, guys, right now, time to sell. So now, some methods on sniping. Um, pretty much anything you snipe, you want to sell right away because the market is high. So if you do get a snipe, would recommend selling right away. Now, here are some filters that I recommend. So right now, we got a filter that is, let's see, what is it? Theme, what is it? The new mark price. Mark price, you want to go to buyout over here. Try to get a Bob Love for the low. You want to switch from uh, diamond to pink diamond. Oh, that's actually a pretty good snipe, I think. 50K to 61, thank you. As you can see, we just got a little snipe. We're going to make a solid 5K off that. Not the biggest snipe, but it does add up. So, Bob Love on the squad. We just got him for 5K. So, that, that Bob Love filter, bro, literally, it's just a Bob Love filter. And it, for some reason, has worked twice for me. I got one for 49K, and I got one for 50K. So dubs in chat um mark price now this is the thing with mark price for to make mt off him is going to be a little hard because he's like on the verge of going buyout i saw buyout for 96k i'm not sure if he's still at that and yeah he got sold out but as you can see no one's bidding on this card like literally nobody so i don't know um is it worth it i don't think so also um other methods on how to make mt uh, if you guys don't know this method, it's one of my favorites. So, Amethyst 20, you want to make sure that um, if you can get these cards for around under 20k, the Paul George, the Harden, and all that, that's what my method is. I made a ton of MT off it. But yeah, guys, this is, ooh, 29k for Curry. Really now? That's a good price. Curry for 29k. Um, Don't mind if I do. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good price for Curry. I think he's like 35, 29K, 34, 29, not the biggest. No, I'm good. Mm, he could go up though. There's no packs dropping. I'm serious. That's not a bad price. He's going to probably go up to like 35. You're going to make about 2K MT. He always goes up during the week. There's not that many on the auction. I don't know. It's up to you guys, but right now. Um, for the Amethyst 20s, what you want to do to make MT, you want to try to snipe these for around, I would say, under 20,000 MT, and you just keep flipping them, and they sell really fast. Um, that's how I made most of my MT this year. If you guys don't know it, most of my subs do know this method. So 20K for Paul George is pretty cheap. Um, his price will probably rise to 25K before Friday. Every card you buy, if you want to wait, 
sell everything before Friday because Friday there's gonna be a new spotlight I think um, these spotlights are going gone soon so yeah thank God these Dirk spotlights honestly bro they're still expensive if you have LeBron uh, if you get LeBron for the low you could go ahead and sell him later on once these packs are gone because he's gonna be so expensive like crazy expensive right now he's at a 125,000 but he's gonna be at 200k probably that bid and there's not a lot on the auction. Let's see how many are on the auction. If you have LeBron, you could go ahead and keep him if you really want. You'd probably make a lot. There's not even that many in the auction, bro. So if you want to buy LeBron, not a bad idea. Also, same with what's his name? Uh, pink Diamond or a lot of Blackman. Yes, he's not good for the set, but it's a pink diamond for 60k. And also Tracy McGrady. Let's check out his price, bro. His pack, his price is gonna probably go up to. I'm pretty sure he's only like 50 something K. Let's see. 55k oh i gotta get some mt together to get that tracy 55k um not a bad price at all either so anyways um some also right now what you want to be looking at to make mt what you want to be sniping is this gilbert arenas and ray allen actually move pretty fast um this chuck person moves pretty fast not bad either um let me think Kelly Oubre is not a bad one to snipe either because he's a ruby so people will throw him up for cheat Um, because I think he's like 12. I just got him for like 9k People will throw him up for cheap. So stay tuned for that if you get a ruby Kelly Oubre for like 8k or under that's a dub because as you can see um, Kelly Oubre is going for over 10k. So honestly, I think kids will throw up a ruby Kelly Oubre for the low I got mine for like 9, he's going for around 14, he's going for around 12, not bad, but as you can see, um, he is kind of active, not a bad person to try to snipe, let me see what else we got in here, he checks, we got Trishan Thompson, not a bad snipe, um, Josh, mm, I don't know, Brandon Ingram, oh my god, also, I didn't show you guys this filter, this filter, I sniped out both Brandon Ingram and SGA in this, um, for about, I sniped out Ingram for 60, which isn't the biggest snipe, and I got SGA for 55. Um, let's check out their prices now. I did the collection for about 140, which isn't bad at all. Honestly, pretty big dubs on that. Let's check out his third prices right now. This is a good snipe filter. 69k, not bad. Um, SGA for somehow, I don't know, I thought SGA was going to be the cheaper card in this. He's actually the more expensive card in this collection. So if you do snipe out a SGA, Shay something Alexander, I don't know how to say his name. If you do snipe out a card, um, SGA, you're, you're making a ton of MT. He's 80K. If you could somehow get him for 60K or something, you're going to make a ton of MT. This is a pretty good filter. Um, it's not too active, but it is decent because every active card that does get posted buys out quickly. As you can see, all these cards are up here for a while, but there was cards that were posted but yeah, guys, right now, let's go over my total, how to make MT, like, let me just go over everything right now. So pretty much what I'm going to say is, right now, um, market is at a high, um, because I, the market should have crashed. It did crash a little bit yesterday, but as you can see, these packs are straight trash. No one's really pulling them, and um, I pulled a ton of them with MT, got nothing. So those packs are terrible. Don't pop them right now. Um, sell your cards, because packs are coming out Friday. Today is Wednesday. So stay tuned for more packs Friday. Are these packs gone? These packs are also gone Friday. So those packs are gone Friday. These packs are gone Friday. These packs are still going to be out. So what happens? Uh, they're going to drop a spotlight challenge. So now what kind of spotlight challenge? Let's see. So they have dropped a Clyde, a Dirk, a Garnett. They have not dropped no point guard spotlight challenge. So stay tuned for a point guard spotlight challenge. That's what I think is going to drop. Hopefully, his point guard spot challenge does drop. That would be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned for that. So, right now, what I want you guys to do. So, pretty much what I think is going to happen is they're going to drop new packs. So, now, if you get Tracy for the low, keep him for a little bit. Sell him. If you get LeBron and Blackman for the low, keep him a little bit. Sell him later on. You're going to make some MT. Same with Steve Nash. Also, with these cards. No, where is it? Lights out cards. So, these are gone soon. If you can pick up some Gilbert Arenas and Ray Allen, you also make some MT off them. Pretty much it's just buying and selling later. And also just try out those snipe filters. They've been working for me as well. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned, bro. This, these, these, uh, what's it called? You guys have been loving the MT videos, so make sure to smash that like button. 
and all that good stuff. 20k in the comments. Like the vid so if you're new. I hope you guys enjoyed all the different ways to make MT. That's all I got, guys. Peace.